Ah, Birmingham. Pollution, rain, and the faint smell of public toilets. <laughs> yes. No, we're here today at the NEC to come to the Motome and Caravan Show. I've brought the family with me, the wife Alyssa, son Henry. Yeah. We're going to go see some camper vans, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. We've been specially invited here, yeah. actually quite surprisingly really, been given a press pass um, by the actual Motome and Caravan Show themselves. So we're going to go and collect that, then we're going to go inside and try and get some ideas and inspiration for a camper van build in the future and do a little bit of window shopping on some motorhomes. What do you reckon, 10 or 20 years time? Yeah. Yeah, a couple, of, a couple of decades away, yeah. <laughs> but uh, let's go do some window shopping. So there's one camper van there. But my God, is it busy today. I know the last act that was on here was Robbie Williams, I believe, last Sunday. Matty, big shout out to you, mate. You and your mum went and see that. Hope you enjoyed it. And we're in. We done it. We got through security. And not only that, we've got some press passes too. <laughs> How on earth have we been able to wing that, eh? So yeah, this is the NEC Motorhome and Caravan Show. Absolutely spoilt for choice in regards to what to look at. So what can you guys expect from today's video? Well, there's mainly gonna be a huge amount of van tours. We're gonna look at loads of camper vans, some motorhomes, maybe some caravans as well. Anything to do with outdoor exploration, with some level of comfort is probably going to be in today's video. So if whatever you're looking for, camper vans, motorhomes, trailer tents, rooftop tents, I'll try and find it and put it in today's video for you. I'm not going to say the price is going to be always uh, the most friendly, but um, you'll have a friendly face to present it to you at least anyway. <laughs> right, let's go and try and find our first camper van or motorhome to have a look in. Now, would you look at that? That is an over cab bed, if I've ever seen one. I've never seen that before. Like a pop top roof on top. That's incredible. Let's take a closer look. Well, I was gonna take a look, but it looks like uh, the queues are quite big at the moment. I'm hoping at some point, the crowds die down a little bit, so we can uh, poke our head into a few of these. But there's actually queues waiting outside these motorhomes. I mean, you've got queuing areas here, people waiting to have a look. If we have to queue, we'll queue. But uh, I actually came here to the Motorhome and Caravan show some years ago now, probably about three or four years ago, with a good friend of mine, Andy. So shout out to you, mate. That was before YouTube, before doing any wild camping. I'd love to be driving that on the open road. I bet. Seems to be some people milling around. Maybe we can have a cheeky look in the cab and put the camera through to the back and not have to wait in the queues. Let's have a look. Here we are, look, look at that. All right, here's a cheeky way to do it. 360 camera in hand. We're gonna get a view inside this camper van. There you are, there's your view. <laughs> I'm not waiting in the queue, I just shoved it in, yeah. <laughs> few years back the prices of motorhomes were high but they certainly weren't as high as they are now so i'll be interested to see what kind of price some of the simpler builds are going for i'll just poke our little head in here we're not going to go in because it's a queue we're just going to put the camera in and i'll show you what you can expect from a pop top van you've got the bed at the back you've got your ladders up there it's another double room with the pop top nice finishes cooktop sink Swivel seats at the front. Let's have a look at what prices these go for. See, I'm going to hazard a guess before I look at the price board. Something like that, brand new van. In today's market, 50,000. I'm going to say 50K. How far am I off? What does it say? 81,000 pounds. Only 30,000 off. Wow. I think it makes building your own camper van a lot more attractive 
Wow, £81,000. That's uh, pretty unbelievable. Here's a rear end view with the same van, different colour. You got your bed. You got your garage area. I'm assuming this is utility area where all your, your water, all your batteries will go. Little camping table there. Here's a 4x4 four four off road. One from Hymer. Let's have a look at the back end, shall we? There's your balcony. You see, what are the chances of me trying to find something a little bit more affordable for the average buyer, like £81,000 for what? Well, it's the Mercedes van, okay, all right. Maybe that's the reason why it's so expensive. Just been looking at some of these, right? Yeah, I want, I want to know. You, you haven't seen the price of this yet, have you? All right. When you look at that, it's got the pop top roof. So it's got another double bed on top. Yeah. It's got like a smaller double there, and obviously your general kind of van outfit. How much do you reckon that van is? It's a Mercedes Sprinter, a brand new one, been kitted out. Now I hazard the guess at about 50k. What's your? 50. Would you put it at lower than that? Would you? Yeah, I would have said at least like. 35, 40. 35, 40,000. That's £83,000. Okay, <laughs> oh, Henry, this is a motorhome, look. This is a motorhome, yeah. Did you, want to, did you want to come in with Daddy and have a look? Yeah. Yeah? Come on, then. Mummy, help you in. It's a bit cramped. Are you coming in, young man? Now remember, don't touch anything. Yeah, wow, Henry. Now this could be our motorhome, couldn't it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Do you want to look this way, look? I'll oh. show you. Look at the beds down there, look. Oh, yeah. Wow, you could be sleeping in that little one there. Look, there's a little bed for you. Yeah, it is. Yeah. What do you reckon? Nice. Can you sit on it? Is it comfy? Is it comfy? Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> that one, that one's 65k. So that's actually cheaper yeah, Henry. than that one over there. But that one has got a pop top roof with a double bed on top, so weigh them up. What's best for you? And just while we're walking through, I want to say a big thank you to today's video sponsor, Jackery. Here's a little clip I recorded earlier. I am the god of power. I have been sent another power bank, the Jackery Solar Generator 1000, to celebrate Jackery's 10 year anniversary. This beast of a solar generator has a 1002 watt hour lithium battery capacity with a 1000 watt output up to 2000 watts on their surge power technology. It features a multitude of ports that you can take with you on your outdoor adventures, whether it be in your van, your tent, camping adventures with the family, or even using it in the home. It's got two AC outlets. You've also got two USB-C and two USB 3.0. You've also got your 12 volt DC outlet as well. And just up top here, you can see you've got your solar inputs and where you charge it from the wall socket. Talking about solar, they've also sent me as part of this solar generator combo, these two 100 watt solar panels. I wanna go into a bit more detail about them. So when I received these solar panels, I was very impressed with the design of them. They have these snap magnetic tabs on top there which make it incredibly easy to fold away and carry and set up. The setup time on these solar panels has probably got to be, well, I'll show you right now, shall I? That's it. That's got to be the simplest portable solar panel design that I've seen on the market. Now I had both of these 100 watt solar panels connected together into the Jackery yesterday when it was a little bit more sunny. Unfortunately, the sun's not out today. And I charged this unit from zero to 100% in a whole day. I think it takes under eight hours and I probably achieved a full charge with bright sunlight, clear blue skies in just over seven and a half hours. So on a bright day, you've got a whole solar generator full of free power. Now, as I mentioned at the start of this video, Jackery is celebrating their 10 year anniversary this year. And as a special thank you to you guys for watching this sponsored segment. I've left a link in the description below in the video so you can have a chance of winning exactly what I have in front of me here, the Solar Generator 1000. All you have to do is follow the link below, enter your email address and fingers crossed one of these babies will come in your way soon. Right, back to today's video. This is a big tent, isn't it? Wow! You see Henry, I think this is called an awning. 
Am I right in saying that? Is this an awning? So you'd put this onto the side of your camper van, I'm assuming. So this is kind of like where your camper would be on the other side. Yeah, if anyone's got a camper van and you've got an awning with it, leave a comment below. How easy are they to set up and what's the best time to go for? I'm completely new to all this. I have no idea what I'm looking for. But it'd be interesting to see, to kind of put that into some kind of budget and see if I could put that on like a self-converted camper van to double the space in the summer. Because I'll be doing most of the family camps in the summer and in the winter, I'll be doing a lot more of the staff camping side of things. So an awning, it's come in massive use in the summer. After looking at the awnings, we decided to go on a food hunt for some chips. We scoffed down some lunch and I decided it was time to at least try and complete a full tour of a camper van. Right, the time has come. Let's brave the queues. Let's invade some motorhomes. Yeah, so we're still waiting on it. Let's have a look in this. Are you coming down, are you ladies? Yeah, yeah, come on down. Okay. Just me. Okay. Right, let's have a look. Oh, squeeze in. Look at the bedroom first. Oh, now this is nice. Oh, I do like that mood lighting. Although it's bright outside, it feels very uh, romantic. Is that the word in here? Lovely. So I'm assuming underneath the bed here, at the back of the van, will be the storage. You've got a relatively roomy shower in there as well, with some frosted glass just to up the uh, romance in the evening. Nice one. And then this is gonna be the toilet. No one's in there, that's, that's a good thing. Wow, this is nice. This is really nice. Let's have a look at the front cab. Hey guys. Oh yeah. This is the drive-in position. Nice big dashboard there with the touch screen. Sorry about the last bit of that. I think uh, somebody turned the stereo on midway through walking through the van. Okay. And back out we go. Wow. Just put me head in for two seconds. You're not ready. There's a flock of potential motorhome buyers. It's so busy today. Everybody wants a motorhome. I suppose that is a sign of the times. The pandemic made people more aware of a staycation and the benefits of having a motor home. Hopefully one day I'll be in a position where I could potentially afford one, fingers crossed, but uh, today is not the day. Now, if there are any camper van or motorhome brands watching this video who have searched the Motorhome and Caravan Show 2022 and have by some chance come across this video and you'd like to work with me and give me a free motorhome, <laughs> then by all means, Send me an email below. I've got my email address in the description. Bit of a long shot. This is a caravan. See, the caravans are nowhere near as popular as the motorhomes. Right, that's enough messing about now. Let's have a bit of seriousness, shall we? Let's try and give you some accurate information about at least one van here, instead of just poking you guys through a window. What have we got? Camper van on a Peugeot body, autograph, Bailey autograph. Let's try and muscle our way in, shall we? Six travel seats. There's about 12 people in there already. <laughs> so I'm just gonna poke my head in. We can have a look at the seating area there, the driver's seats, lovely seats at the front. And then we've got the kitchen area. Bedroom slash lounge at the back. I'm assuming this here will transfer into a double bed. Ah, there's also a slide down bed at top as well. You've also got your bathroom, shower, very generous size shower. Really nice lighting. Kitchen area, oven. Oh, nice size fridge freezer as well. It's nearly as big as my fridge at home. This is a double side opening. I always think it's cool seeing them. Open them from both sides, so whatever side of the van you're on, you've always got access to your food. I like that, me being a foodie. A nice size lounge with loads of storage on top. Now this is the design I would have. As and when the time comes, this would be the kind of van I'd go for. We just about managed to get in there in time. Look at the amount of people in. Right, let's have a look how much this van costs. 
just eighty-eight thousand um, pounds. <coughs> £88,000. Very similar in price to the first camp van we saw with the pop top roof on. Um, personal choice. I would much rather go for something like that with a double bed that retracts from the top. Double bed in the back that can be obviously changed into a lounge area where it's set up right now as a lounge. That's brilliant. That's the design I'd go for. If anyone else has got a motorhome with a similar design as that, leave a comment below. What do you think of it? Would you change it anyway? I think a lot of people mention when they do like motorhomes and camper van vlogs, the most important thing is your layout. So if anyone's got a similar layout to this van here, which may I add, lucky you, then leave a comment below. I'd like to know your thoughts on how you've lived with that, how long you've had it for, and would you change it anyway? It'd be interesting to know. So many people, so many people. See, here was me thinking, coming on a Friday, the show started early on in the week, I was thinking, right, as soon as the show starts, the people that have actually got free time in the week, they'll do the first few days. And then the people that are working the week will come on the weekend. So I was thinking in my head, Friday would be the quietest day. I wonder how busy it's gonna be tomorrow, on a Saturday. Crazy. Here we are, we found one. We found one that hasn't got many people inside it. In fact, someone's just come out, right, let's hijack it, let's hijack it. Oh my God. I'm in a motorhome by myself. Won't last for long, but uh, as we speak, I'm currently in here alone. So we've got a double set of beds at the back. I'd like to think this would transfer. What's that there then? Is that your drawer system or something? Ooh, nice. So this might be the permanent fixture, I think. You've got three burner stove with an electric hob. It's nice to have the option of that if you are on an electric hookup or if you have solar panel on the roof. You can use the electric instead of using your gas. It's a nice feature. Daddy, you want to have a look? Come on then. Come have a look with Daddy, Henry. Yeah. We've got the whole place to ourselves. Oh, nice. It's nice. Yeah. I quite like this. I wonder if the uh, the back design goes into a double bed. That'll be interesting to know. Should we look at the bathroom? Yeah. Go on then. Go up, go up there. That's it. Good boy. Oh, lovely. Nice size shower. Toilet. Hmm. What do you think, Henry? Nice. Yeah. Nice shower. Yeah. You like baths though, don't you? I do, yeah. Yeah. I like showers. We'll have to get used to a shower, won't we, if we ever go in a camper van or a motorhome. Right, Henry, you ready? Not yet. Oh, don't climb on there. That's quite high. Come on then. Come on, because we're going to have a look at some more now. Henry, they're too high. <laughs> they're too high. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, you. Come on. Come on. I've got. I've got another one to show you. That's a bit lower. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Yes. Well done. Come on, then. This way. Well, is this Thank you. So that one's a similar price to the last one as well, but the last one had the pull-down bed at the top. See, I prefer that design. See, it looks like this design's fixed in the back here. So you can actually have it as two single beds if the person that you're traveling with you prefer to sleep separately maybe. Since so it's a four berth or a four belter, shall I say. That's, uh, that's interesting to know about these actually. Looking around a few camper fans and a few motorhomes today, a lot of them advertise how many belted seats they've got. But some of them are very different because you'll have four belted seats but only be a two berth. So that's something to remember. If you're gonna be looking for a motorhome or a camper van, it'll give you how many belted seats you've got but be sure to ask, or at least find out, what birth it is, how many people will actually sleep. That's a really important factor. And if you're traveling with someone you're not too keen on. <laughs> yeah, you can always put them in there. That'd be my bed. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I could put the, uh, the Grand Scenic bed in there. <laughs> actually, well, you'd be able to put your, um, your mattress in there. I could put the mattress in there, yeah. So you and Henry will have the luxury of the space of the camper van. And I'll sleep in the boot. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, if you're, if you're happy to sell the house and buy one, I can settle <laughs> yeah, for that. 
And that is us all finished and wrapped up at the Motorhome and Caravan Show. I want to say a big thank you to the event organisers for inviting us here. It's been great having a day out with the family. Have you enjoyed it, Henry? Yeah. You had a good time seeing yeah. the camper vans? I'm going to the camper van show again. You, you want to go to the camper van show again? <laughs> yeah, this one. Well, that's an endorsement of a real one. <laughs> so, yeah, so thank you guys for watching this video. Bit of a random one today. Um, but, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time on some other random car camping or van shopping adventure with the family. I want to say a huge thank you to all the supporters on Patreon and everybody that's joined the channel memberships as well. Your support is greatly appreciated. It certainly helped pay for the fuel to get here today. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.